Connell, you just stepped off the uh, training ground. A bit of sweat on the brow there, a warm day, enjoyable one? Yeah, when the sun's like this, you know, it's the perfect job, isn't it? You know, you're out in the sun, you're, you're training, you're, you're enjoying yourself. So, uh, but yeah, we've had a, a great training session today. Like I said, it's the first uh, time since the new gaffers came in that we've been able to really, we've not had a midweek game, really concentrate on training and working on certain things that hopefully are going to progress as come the weekend. Uh, I know details and stuff that you can't get in when lads are off training and on recovery and stuff like that. So, you know, it's been a great day. And like I said to you off camera, then it's, it's one of the most enjoyable training sessions I've had for, for many years. Like it was, it was really good today. What, what about it was so enjoyable? Just the intensity of what our people train. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm a big believer in you've got to train how you play uh, because you can't just switch it on on a weekend. You know, the tackles are flying in, you know, lads are short in goals. They, you know, they put themselves about. There's a bit of, you know, a bit of arguing going on, but that's what you need in training. You need that, that people at each other to then take your levels in, in matches to, you know, from here to here. So I think just being around it and that, and like obviously having more around and that, you know, he's a he's a great laughing trainer and I always got picks the mood up and stuff. And I think the lads are you know feeling confident, especially hopefully going into the weekend. I only caught the back end of the, mm -hmm. the session, but it looked to me like it was a the short sided game, two big full size goals, lots mm -hmm. of goals, lots of saves, mm -hmm. lots of intricate passing with not mm -hmm. much room. Is that a, you know a, a reflection of what Ian probably wants to improve in the side? You think? Yeah, hundred percent. I think since since the new gaffers came in, I think you can see this, the structure that we're trying to to build on from building up from the back and patient play. But you've also got to remember when you get towards that final third, you've got to take risks. You know, you've got to not be scared of giving the ball away to play that ball forward into the box to create a chance. Um, and I think that's what the gaffers now trying to really press through to us. I think we've got the defensive shape, we've got a, a good structure to build upon. But I think we're obviously improvements. I think are all there to be seen in the final third. You know, we haven't scored enough goals. You know, and we're not scoring enough goals. And you know, I can't stand here and go. You know, we've been brilliant from the goal this year. But that's not just the forward left. That's the midfield, the defence. You know what I mean? We haven't. Me personally, I haven't scored a goal this season. You know, which is, which is not good. Do you know what I mean? I should be able to contribute two or three a season. But uh, I think as a club, we're just lacking that killer instinct in the box at the minute. But like today is like today, give you that opportunity to really like hone your skills and work on on what we've been missing. And it's about having that, you know, that ice in your veins when you get in front of goal or you're playing that last pass. You've got to be really cool, calm, and collected after the hectic build-up and all this. I think it's time just to calm it down and and like you say, pick your spot and make sure we start putting the ball in the back of the net. I think Ian's referenced it a number of times as well. It's not only about scoring the chances you do create it's about creating more chances and I think mm -hmm. that's probably one of the biggest frustrations of recent games is that we probably yeah. haven't created enough have we well like, like you say we, we haven't created enough you know we've been very good build up play you know we've, we've looked uh, good playing out from the back which is the way we want to play the right way of football but I think in the final third I think we just need to especially the younger lads that are coming into the group you know they need to be encouraged to be able to make mistakes in the final third by trying to create something you know I'm not going to turn around on the pitch and have a go at anyone for trying something different in the final third because you need that creativity, you need that something different to be able to make your chances. So uh, I think all we need to do is just have a little bit more belief and like yourself as a senior lad and you know Doyle, you know, Reeves, e. Turner, Jim O'Brien, you know, we try and encourage these young lads to be expressful when they're in the final third and, and go and do your thing. You know, before games we speak in the changing rooms, I go around, you know, we have a little chat with each other. And I always say to Jimmy Knowles, just do your thing, mate. You don't need me to tell you how to play a beer forward. Be creative, be direct. Get your shots off. Because at the end of the day, you don't shoot, you don't score. So I think uh, as long as we keep getting these messages across, you know, time is precious at the minute. We've only got, I think, 10 games left, is it? Something like that. 12 games left. So, you know, we haven't got bags of time to, to get it right. But what we need to do is just keep working hard in training and make sure that when it comes to games from now on, we're taking more risks in the final third, trying to create more chances. Like, I'll be honest with you, the gaffer and Moe's eye for detail when we're analysing games is is second to none. You know, they, they give us the information, they put us out on the pitch with the right information. I'm training today and I can see it starting to click. Lads making forward runs rather than peeling wide, you know, lads actually wanting to penetrate the box when they get on the end of stuff. So, you know, it, it is coming and it's hard as a, as a fan, I suppose, not being able to come to the games and obviously watching it on telly because it's a different experience watching it on the telly. Sometimes you don't see things on camera than you do when you're there watching it live. And it's hard for us as players as well because having the fans there, they can express their opinion directly to you. And that sometimes eggs you on, you know, it gets you, makes you like, come on, mate, don't make another mistake. I need to put that in the back of the net. So your next chance, you're really on it. And at the minute with the stadiums being empty and, and you know, quiet, it's sometimes hard to get that connection you want with the fans. Because whether they're on your back or they're cheering you along, 
it still both helps. Like it, I don't think people understand, you know, when you, I give a bad pass away and you hear the crowd go, you know, you're making sure your next one is, is getting there, do you know what I mean? You're not making two mistakes on the bounce. And I think that's also the case in the final third. You know, where there's more pressure on you, you've got fans there, you've got six or 7,000 lots of fans, you know, the ball comes in the box, you, you're on it, you know, because of that pressure. But, you know, we have missed the fans this year, you know, especially at home. And I think the home form does show that. I think we just need to be a little bit more ruthless and a little bit more clinical in what we do in the final third. Um, I've been very disappointed with obviously the set plays we've been conceding as well at, at, of late and to lose three games, it's, it, is, it does hurt, like, do you know what I mean? And the lads are hurting and we want to push for promotion and we want to really be there at the end of the season and we need to be able to concentrate now on really turning things around quickly and, and trusting each other especially in that final third where you know you give someone the ball and let them go and do their thing, go and score goals, don't worry about making mistakes. And re like you say, really get together now and we need to push through. But I think as a group of players and staff, we need the fans as well to really help us. And you know, it's you see negativity and I always say all the time, sometimes, you know, a, a bit of negativity, it spurs me on, do you know what I mean? When someone says, oh, he's not had a bad game, he's this. So, so I always go into the next game thinking, right, I've got to do well now. Where, you know, I think, a bit too much negativity in this, that and the other. You know, we're still in a promotion hunt. Okay, we've been in a bit of bad form lately. We're still in the round it. We've got full belief, I can tell you that, in the change rooms. And no doubt about it, we've got a core group there of senior pros that are driving training every day. You know, we're making sure that the lads still believe and, and we do like, you know, we're, we're right in the hunt here. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good teams in the round us, but let's get in them playoffs and then we'll see who's going to step up towards the end of the season. It feels strange saying it because usually at this stage of the season, a free midweek is quite yeah. a, a normality, but yeah. it almost feels like a bit of a mini pre-season towards mm -hmm. the running this week, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ian and Mo having the first real opportunity yeah. to do proper training yeah. and having a free week to run a, a big game on Saturday and you know mm -hmm. a, a new challenge which is trying to break back into those playoff places and stay there. Yeah, definitely. Like I like say, uh, the training, the eye for detail is, is amazing. Like I've, ne I've never played under a manager which and an assistant manager that has got such an eye, eye for detail and they give you the information and you, it's easy to understand and you know you try and implement it on the pitch you know in training and stuff and obviously with us having today and having a full week of training together you know hopefully these ideas can get more gelled than what they have been where they've been a little bit disjointed training and stuff with so many games and lads having to recover and make sure they're ready for the next game so but the training sessions that the gaffer and uh, Mo are putting on you know they're great they're enjoyable you know lads are enjoying playing football the right way um, and uh, like you say, I think I think if we keep working hard and just make sure we, it, it's not we're not too far away. It's just a few tweaks here and a few tweaks there, and things will fall into play. You know, we've got 80% there, but that other 20% is the hardest thing in football, and it's putting the ball in the back of the net. And we just need to find that 20%, and and we'll be there. From a personal point of view, Cole, we all know your personality. We all know what sort of player you are. You're a heart and heart and the sleeve player. You know, how much are you enjoying being a Notts County player at the minute? I love it here, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's been my favourite club, I've, you know, I've had a career at the, so far of 11 years um, and it's the favourite place I've, I've been as a, as a footballer, um, you know, the, the fans, the stature of the club, do you know what I mean, the way the fans talk to me personally and stuff, you know, I, I, I enjoy being there every minute, the people around the place, the staff, yourself, you know, the people that the fans don't see day to day, you know, it's a really great club to be around and I think personally for me, I'd love to obviously stay here for a long time and, and put two, 250, 300 appearances up on the board and, and walk away and say, you know, I've had a great career at Notts County, what a big club that to play for. Um, also, though, I want to finish what I started when I came here, which was to get the club back into the Football League. You know, it would be nice to, uh, you know, if this squad could do it this season, you know, your name would be written into the history books as the first squad to get the football, the oldest Football League club back in the Football League. And it's something for me that, you know, when you finish football, it's, you know, it's all good and time. I mean, you've got the money and all this and the flash life. But when you look back, you look at it and think, you know, I've, I've done, got a little bit of history there with, with a, a club with, you know, great history. And, you know, I think of it every day. Imagine, imagine getting promoted last season, promoted this season and being that squad that done it. You know, and I think that's what we need to believe in and, and really push. Um, I can totally understand at the minute where, where the fans are coming from. Um, obviously, three defeats on the bounce. It's not great. Um, and we're feeling it as well, but we've got a great opportunity on Saturday to go up to Torquay and really show that, you know, we've got that character, we've got that belief, you know, we're all right, we've lost three on the bounce, but we're going to go there and play like we've won three on the bounce and have that swagger about us and have that confidence of, you know, 
we're going to go there and win the game. And then kick on and make the playoffs. And then kick on and make the playoffs, you know what I mean? OK, we've dropped out of the playoffs. You know, I'm on no doubt that we'll make the playoffs. There's not a doubt in my mind, you know, I'm not even thinking, will we make the playoffs? I'm thinking, we're making the playoffs. And then let's get at, let's get, let's get at it, like, let's, let's, get, let's get promoted. One you know? better than last year. Yeah, we got one better than last year. You know, we missed out. We were, we were in such a distance, and the lads that were here, you know, I still feel that. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, I feel like, you know, I didn't even get the opportunity to play at Wembley last year, but you still feel it as a as a whole. You know, you see lads that are disappointed. You see the fans disappointed, and you put all that effort in for all season, the ten months that you that you're working for that one thing, and you get so close. So I think, like you say, the lads need to remember what it feels like to get so close and and not quite get there. Connor, one final thing, a message to the fans in advance of this game against Torquay. It's obviously it's a massive mm -hmm. test. You know, they've picked right back up in form. They're going for the title. Mm -hmm. you now, what would you say to supporters? Well, we'll be going there to win the game. It's as simple as that, you know. We, we believe that we're better than any team we come up against on a Saturday. Whether we're home or away, you know, we go into the game believing that we can do it. And I think we have got the players here to be able to do it. I'll be going there Saturday and there'll be no doubt about it. I'll be looking for a clean sheet, a goal and a win. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's how I go into every game. Um, and I know the other lads will, you know. We've got Doyle coming back into the fold. Great leader, you know, great skipper. Probably the best I've played under. So, uh, you know, we've got players coming back and I think if we just go there, bit of swag about us, bit of confidence, go there, play, score some goals and really uh, kick-start that run into the end of the season.